but don't get me wrong, you can get down on it if you want to, you know, if you got the ball. You know I'm serious about this YouTube. This ain't gonna work, I ain't got no sun. Hold on. <laughs> man, I hope my screen not getting mangled. What's going on guys, Roll King Sino here bringing you a quick episode of the Dirty Left Shoe Chronicles. You dig? One thing about man, Roll King Sino is I ain't afraid to get on your level. You know what I'm talking about? Hey man, I'ma come down so we could come up together if you dig what i'm saying today's video is going to be a quick video about wide tire bikes it's going to be simple for what it is i haven't done a motor vlog style video in a long time but i'm going to get ready and ride this thing and tell you uh, from first-hand experience of course i do have experience prior to me making this video but motor vlog style experience and tell you what i'm feeling as i'm riding this 330 wide tire kit on this magnificent outstanding as clean as they come suzuki hayabusa it ain't the gen 3 it's the gen 2. one of the baddest generation boosters ever made you know what i'm talking about besides that 99 y'all know what i'm talking about them 99 lovers in my opinion um wide tires you do feel but when they're a well-made kit it doesn't impair your your ride. It doesn't impair the rideability as bad as you think. No, you're not gonna scrape your knee uh, uh, in turns. No, you're not gonna. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, have the type of horsepower that you would have uh, without the wide tire kit. But that's logic. That's common sense. And not trying to be funny. These people ain't scraping their knees on a regular stock wheelbase bike set up for a circuit track. I mean, come on, guys. You're sacrificing maneuverability. You're sacrificing performance for a style, for a look. This setup and this style is for a particular type of person that just likes to cruise on a motorcycle. Um, but don't get me wrong. You can get down on it if you want to. You know, if you got the balls. I guess I can't say that. I say if you got the courage, you know what I mean, to pin it, to win it. You know what I'm talking about? A good kit you can beat up on a little bit and it's a lot more durable than you think. Um, but it does take away from performance. That's just the reality of it. Um, it's not gonna perform as it would if it was a stock uh, setup. A little bike just passed, uh, BMW. Hopefully he don't come over here and wanna make talk with me. If he do, I'll accept it with open arms because he part of the bike life community as though we all are. But I'm getting off the subject here, guys. Um, I'm going to take you on a little ride with it and let you know how it's feeling and how I'm feeling it. And uh, you can decide if a wide tire bike is the type of style or the type of bike that you want. Also, another thing, guys, before I close this one out, it was real neat um, taking this arm off and seeing how this, um, this outside drive worked. And, um, you know, how the components were made and uh, how well they were made. And uh, it's a pretty good kit, guys. For, so for anyone who's actually interested in this Ruin Toys um, outside drive kit and are kind of on the fence about whether they should buy one or not or how complicated it is or not, it's, it's a really um, simple design, in my opinion, uh, that works and it makes sense. Uh, it's definitely not as complicated as most people might think that it is, but I found the kit to be, you know, a pretty decent kit for what it was. Um, anything that I thought didn't make sense about it actually had a purpose and really did make a whole lot of sense. I haven't did this motor vlog thing with this style of motor vlogging in a while. I hope you can hear me. Be easy now, baby. Be easy, you know. Hey, play it coming through. <laughs> Right off break, I can tell you that this um this bike, uh, you feel the tail end. It's not to the point to where you can't control it, but you definitely know that it's there. Um, I think it maneuvers very well for what it is, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that this is just running a single chain. So it's just a single chain drive versus um two chains. Two chains. 
it's not too bad as you can see we can lean a little bit you know what i mean we can move and groove it ain't no it ain't no big deal man with it um for me it just happens to be the way that i set my bikes up whether they have a fat tire on them or not and the way that i ride um some people will definitely feel the difference a lot more or even be intimidated by the, the feel of it a lot more um versus me but it's not that bad don't get me wrong it takes getting used to it like everything else and some people never get used to it but you know if it's something that you you you, you going in with the mindset of knowing you're going to sacrifice a little bit of performance um for the looks and uh you know for the for the neck breaks you know what i'm saying it's not a big big deal you you'll take to it in my opinion you'll take to it um like a fish in water you know understand uh i'm not out in the mountains or anything like that it's a lot of flat flat roads out here so some of it is going to depend on you know what i mean your particular area that you live in as well but it doesn't maneuver bad um it's crazy because the front with these big tire kits the front tends to feel a little twitchy versus the back and what i mean by that it doesn't feel any more twitchy than than you know how booster does regularly um stock wheel base stock setup uh and it's the same way with uh with jixa 1000s with pretty much any bike that i've owned with a fat tire kit on it uh the front still feels a lot more twitchy than the rear the rear feels planted um the front feels like you don't have to force it uh force movement in a direction you need it to go when you're turning what have you but you feel the weight back there which can be a good thing it definitely gives you the sense of feeling planted in all honesty a fat tire kit even stretch swing arms in my opinion makes the bike feel a lot more planted and solid to me than um stock wheel base uh, don't get me wrong they're not you can't flick them back and forth and do you know the things you want you would do with the stock wheel based bike with it but for what it is you can still have a lot of fun with it um and it feels really really secure depending on what kit you get if you get a trash kit the experience is going to be trash you know what i mean you better hope you got it installed halfway correctly you know so definitely be mindful of the wild tire kit that you do buy because that literally will make or break the experience of riding the wild tire bike uh long 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 time ago i had a 300 tire kit on uh my jixa 1000 at the time it was the k5 k6 so it was the 2005 that i had and uh I had a tubular uh, single-sided swing arm cns real decent quality um you know uh though that style was fairly new back then my cousin he got uh he got a swing arm set up done local i guess you could say to the area that i lived in at the time i um, moved to a place out of florida and long story short uh the guy was was okay as far as fabrication from from what i could tell but the quality was nowhere near the quality of my cns swing arm jack shaft had to constantly be adjusted let alone the fact that he he had ordered like a 12 over swing arm and they ended up sending him like a 18 over or something like that i don't even know how long the damn swing arm was but um it literally was like you know he had a trailer a little behind but it's crazy because once uh it was installed and everything it actually had a cool look being that it was so long with that fat tire on there um but that's just my example of quality does make a difference with these big tire kits and i'm sure length does too but quality overall is going to make a difference because even if someone or a company reputable company does a longer swing arm versus a shorter swing arm if they got good quality they're still going to have good quality with the longer one as well i will say with the outside drive it's a much different ride than the jack shaft the jack shaft even the, the best quality uh fat tire bikes when you hit the throttle i mean literally when you when you smack the throttle in my opinion no matter what the kit is you can feel 
that power transferring through those two chains. You lose a lot of power within that jack shaft, I'm sure. So with this outside drive, it's a totally different feeling, man. I mean, it literally feels like, almost like you got a stock swing arm on there, at least an extended swing arm with uh, a wider tire, don't get me wrong. But it just, it trails, it feels like it trails a little better. Um, and it reacts a lot quicker, I'm noticing. A lot of that has to do with the length of this swing arm too, versus if you had a fat tire bike that's extended a little longer. But um, outside of that, it doesn't hurt the maneuverability of the bike at all. Again, this is a short swing arm setup. So it's, it's, it's definitely a little different than a, a longer swing arm setup. But it maneuvers very, very well for what it is. In my opinion, for someone who's looking for this type of setup or for, who's looking for a show type setup, uh, I definitely think it's worth it. You know, if you're that all eyes on me type person. You sacrifice performance, don't get me wrong, but do your own research, check it out. You gotta know and like it for yourself. You gotta know that it feels good for you. But the right kit will give you, the right quality kit will give you that quality ride that you're looking for in terms of a wide tire kit. Um, and in terms of rideability still, because you won't lose a whole lot. Any of my other wild tire owners out there, any of my fat tire kit owners out there, my wild tire bikes, fat tire bikes, whatever you want to call them, let me know um, your experience with these wild tires. Uh, let me know if I missed anything about how they feel. Let me know about your experience with them. If you happen to come across a, 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 a kit that might not have been as well built, or you know maybe you had several kits some you've experienced that weren't well built and some were were built great leave in the comment section below let me know what you think if you haven't done so already make sure you comment like subscribe most of all share this video don't forget to hit that notification bell i'll catch you guys in the next one peace